I think I like to eat more than I like to cook. I'm, I'm a very sensory person, so I like tasting. That's really what excites me. I love the idea of taking these raw ingredients and turning it into something altogether different and delicious that would bring someone enjoyment. It's a positive feedback loop. I think the alchemical mystery of, of cooking really drew me in when I was watching like cooking shows. When I was coming up in the late 90s, that was sort of when cooking shows really took off. Yan Can Cook and Great Chefs Great Cities and you know the Galloping Gourmet and, and Julia Child. And then I started bugging the hell out of my mom and making her take me to get food and then she would go with me to the store and buy it all and then I'd cook recipes. Like when I was 10 and 11 years old, I just cooked for the family. I grew up in a town that already has really flavor forward food. There is French, Spanish, German, African, Sicilian, like all of those are the major influencers on our cuisine. The way we assimilate the cultures here in New Orleans, we always keep the best parts, so the things that really excite us, and that's sort of why New Orleans is as exciting place as it is. We keep the exciting parts of every culture. kind of ad-libbing all of this. I don't always know where it's going or where it's leading. You know, the month we opened, like we made some top 10 list of like, what was it, best stoner food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the first ever like little award that this restaurant ever won. And we we're like, oh, okay, well, we'll take that. Sure, best stoner food. And ever since then, like the wings have been just like constantly ranked as one of the tops in the city. Quite honestly, I'm, more, I'm learning how to run two restaurants at this point. You know, one of our restaurants is a year old, the other one is now four years old, and it's really a whole new level of balancing act. I find myself at some points working 100 hours a week. It's one of those ones where it's a labor of love, so it's, you know, it's, they're both your babies, so it's fine, but it, there's really not a whole lot of time for anything extra. I've seen other people who do the celebrity chef thing and it's different. You have to spend your time like auditioning and making tapes and sending them to people and being like, you have to go after, that's a, that's a different dream that you have to pursue. You, you have to be that person and you have to be a caricature of yourself. You're not really you anymore. You are whatever they want you to be on the TV. It's a clear distinction. You know, you have events that are all the celebrity chefs who are the TV personalities and you have the events that are the working chefs and they're different people. It's almost like a start over point, you know? Would, it, would I really want to ch chase that? I don't know. That's a, and I, I, I'm not going to comment on it because my, my ideas change. You know, I used to tell people that I never wanted to own my own restaurant and now I own two.
best for me would have two restaurants that are running well enough to where I can take a day off. And I'd just like to have the respect of my peers. I don't need any big awards. I just want people, like other cooks to know, like, hey, what Mike's doing is really cool. Because we get so caught up with being a celebrity chef, we forget about just being restaurateurs who make our guests happy. I mean, that's really what we want at the end of the day.